Hello and welcome to the German Spearfishing Channel. Today we want to talk about wetsuits. Wetsuits in general, hands and shoes. How to put them on, how to put them off and how to repair and maintain them. Okay, let's talk about how to put the wetsuit on. First of all, you just need an ordinary bottle with water and soap. You can use a normal soap, you can do use hair, hair shampoo and the best thing is just normal soap um, without any perfume. So, you take the bottle of water and put a good amount of soap inside and then close the bottle and mix it up wisely. So what we do, we take the wetsuit, take the arms and the opening and then Fill, fill the water, the soapy water, into the wetsuit. Just a good amount. Then close everything on both sides so that there's no opening left. And then just shake it around. Shake, 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 shake it. Shake it very well. Then you can leave it, then again take the trousers, close the legs and put some water into the trouser. Then close the legs, cl uh, close the upper opening and again shake it, shake it, shake it. So, with that, then you wait until the soap water is running out and it will be so easy to put the wetsuit on and when you come out of the water, uh, it will be like you went, uh, will come from a fresh shower. And when you have a wetsuit with this beaver tail, always put the suit on and when you're pulling it down, just grab the beaver tail and pull on the beaver tail. Never start pulling on um, the openings because you want to. You will scratch the neoprene. You can also do um, the soapy water into the shoes and into the gloves. So it will be so easy. Just shake it again. Shake it. Shake it. Shake it and put the soapy water out and it will be perfect okay so you come out of the water you had a great time caught a lot of fish for sure and your wetsuit is still on so what you do first is you open you open um, the closings at the downer part and then you take the beaver tail and Put it from your back over, over here and so it's much easier to put the wetsuit off. Um, the trouser, you just normally put the trousers away as usual. So, and what you do when you come out of the water every time when you store away your equipment, don't leave it with the salt water. Take your, uh, take your upper part, your suit and Take a normal shower without any soap water or anything else, just hot water and rinse this wetsuit for at least 3, 4, 5 minutes. So everything is coated and even the, even the outer side it is clean. So otherwise 
when you don't do it, um, the wetsuit, the neoprene will get worse and worse so with every spearfishing action you, you have done and with that your neoprene will last for years. Even also the trousers, just hot water, we rinse it from inside and from the outside. Always when drying be aware that um, the water can float off. So don't um, do any, any sunks inside the neoprene because that will mildew after the time, weakens the neoprene. Just be aware that it's hanging well and that all the water is dripping out like that and over here. Okay. Like I said in my videos before, I've built this rack out of easy uh, PVC pipes with holes inside and in a wooden part at the bottom um, to dry my neoprene shoes and gloves. Because normally when now they're completely, so if you can see, they're completely um, soaked up with water and if you lay them the water can't evaporate out. So you need um, this rack, it is very easy to make. Um, so all the water will evaporate out and you don't have a chance of bad smelling neoprene shoes and neoprene um, gloves. Also, when you come out of the water, please uh, rinse it with warm water as well, the gloves and the shoes. And due to the opening, the water is much easier to evaporate out, out of the bottom, out of the holes, and it won't stink, it won't mildew. Perfect. So let's come to the reparation part. Often gloves, they will be defect after like one season. You scratch them in stones and so on. And at the start, I tried to stitch them with ordinary needle, um, but it won't work. It will tear apart all the time. And typically on the trousers or on the body parts of the wetsuit, you have these holes in the neoprene because you try to pull them here. So this neoprene glue, it is special to, uh, to glue together neoprene. I never tried it before and a, a friend showed me how to do it and I was so amazed that I bought this one instantly. It's not expensive, it's like 7 euros. I will post uh, a link below on Amazon where you can find it. My advice, buy it. It's the best thing ever. And I show you now how to do it. Okay, in bad videos, they just tell you, yeah, you have to take the glue, take the glue, put it there, and that's it. So this is wrong. You just need the neoprene. It even don't have to be completely dry, at least, let's say, hand dry, okay? So you put, the neoprene on both sides what you want to glue okay and then the most most important part is that you wait until you pressure it together because this glue works like when you repair um, the the rubber of an bike so it needs um, time to vulcanizate and afterwards, just the pressure um, glues it together, not the time, okay? You need some time until it's completely dry. So when you stick your finger at the glue and it still makes these fibers, I don't know if you can see it, and it still feels sticky, don't put it together, just wait. You can see um, the vulcanization process um, and just wait a little bit more. Just give 
the glue, the, um, the air to dry out. So you open, open the defect a little bit more and wait and wait and wait. It can take up to 10 minutes. So let's see if it still feels sticky. It doesn't feel sticky anymore. You open the scratches a little bit and inside it's still sticky. So you open up and wait and wait. So it isn't sticky anymore. So what we do now, do a lot, a lot, a lot of pressure because it glues the better together, the more pressure you do on the glue. So do it as hard as you can with your fingertips and you can see it start gluing together very well. Okay, we need some extra. Okay. Okay. You can put it in the right position like this and then do the pressure. Ah! Okay, so on this side as well. First in the right position. You instantly see that it's gluing together even the glue is dry. So and then comes the pressure. Okay, so the next trick is when you're going to glue the neoprene. This will help, but once you want to do it perfectly, you open it again, open it, open it, open it, and it still opens. So you put the two pieces of neoprene together with your fingertips and open it again and even later you do a second or a third layer of glue and it will fit up the gap completely you see it's still open okay you open it that's normal and then put it together with your fingertips and if it opens like this just put another layer of glue just put another layer of glue on top wait and put it together like this so this will make the neoprene perfect again so what we do like i said we put it together it is glued together now we do a second layer so fill up the gap fill up the gap Smear it in that everyone is everything is coated. Okay. Well. So this was one from the first neoprene. You open the crack again. Open, close, 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 put it together. Exact on the crack line with as much pressure you can do. So it should look like this when it's finished. This I did um, two months before. It's already completely dry. I would let it dry for at least two, two hours and then you can use it. There was um, a whole defect that was going through, completely through, if you can see here and on the other side. So look how good it's doing now. You can't open the scratch at all. Even I do it with a lot of force, it will held together perfectly like before and it's completely water resistant. Okay guys, this is it. These are my tips about wetsuits, neoprene in general, how to put it on, how to put it off, how to glue it, how to maintain it uh, like I did before. So if you like this video, please leave me a thumbs up Follow up my channel, leave a subscribe, ring the bell for more spearfishing related content such as equipment tips, uh, gear, tutorials, do-it-yourself equipment and so on. So ring the bell for good, more good videos. Thank you and goodbye.